Okay, well, I'm learning a lot about Stirling engines and uh, building these things, and uh, I've done a lot of studying online, and uh, I'm impressed with them, what you can do with them. But uh, I took this one apart that I showed in my last video, and you can notice now it's not banging. The uh, displacer was hitting the bottom of the uh, tuna fish can, so I took it apart and rebuilt it. Then I put it back together with this uh, silicon, uh, high temperature silicon stuff you buy it at the auto parts store, or you can buy it at the 99 cent store. And I put a heat sink on it here. It's a great big uh, uh, PCU heat sink, and then some ice. And uh, then it'll just keep on running as long as it's cool on the top. But on this particular Sterling right here, um, it's very, very sensitive to overheating and then it stops. And of course, once it gets too hot, it just comes apart. <laughs> so <laughs> this is about as basic a Sterling engine as you can study. And uh, the uh, soda can one was uh, even better, really, for learning the Sterling engine uh, design. But uh, I'm learning on each build, whether it be successful or unsuccessful, I'm learning more and more. Uh, friction and air leakage are the two big, big things about this. I had air leakage there, and I had air leakage down there. That I think is what killed the uh, first one of these that I tried to make. Um, the soda can one uh, was not a problem. That was uh, Jim Larson's design, and that worked right off the, the get-go. This was a lot harder for me. Um, what I'm going for is one of these that will run off the cup of tea water, or hot cup of water and uh, I'll get there. But uh, like I say, every time I work on these and build one or rebuild it, I learn more and more. And uh, they're a fascinating little uh, engine to uh, study. And there's all different kinds of them I found out. There's the betas and the gammas and the alphas and the, the this ones and the that ones. And uh, I recommend somebody study these and maybe buy one of the kits for 30 bucks or, or one of the ones on eBay rather than go through what I went through here, because this was a lot of time to learn uh, how these things work, where if you had a model in front of you that was already made, uh, you could look at it and study it, and uh, then build one, because I had to learn as I went here, and uh, this was um, a real good learning experience. It just took a lot of time. But anyway, that's where I'm at with this um, Sterling engine, and like I say, every time I build or rebuild one of these, I'm learning more and more, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. The goal is to get one that runs off of a cup of hot water, and uh, I will get there sooner or later. Thanks for watching.